My name is The Rock Showman, and I have travelled the world as both a circus man and a geologist. Wherever I go, I always question, what's beneath my feet? Because to build a big top, you've got to know what's below. And to discover fossils, you've got to understand what's under where you stand. In this series, we'll be exploring the fascinating Earth history of Northeast England. Join me and my rock hounds as we find out what's beneath our feet. We've just been researching today's expedition. Our objective is to find coal in the rock strata near Newcastle, because we know where there's coal, there's fossils. Fossil catfish. Don't think there was many of them in the Carboniferous. What are we gonna need? Geological hammer. Check. Safety goggles. Check. Colorful trousers. Check. Actually, it's tartan. Hey dogs, do you wanna to go to the beach? Find some fossils? Come on. We're heading to the coast of North Tyneside, not far from St. Mary's Lighthouse. It's a beautiful day for practicing science and getting out into nature. Here we are on the Costa del Jordi, the Tyneside Riviera, Seton Sluice. Today, a fossil hunting expedition and an exploration of the geological strata, the sedimentary landforms that lie beneath our feet. What we know is that when we find coal around, we're definitely in the sedimentary rocks. And here, we're part of the Great Northern Coal Field. You can see behind me this black stuff here. That's where the coal has come out of the ground. Naturally just weathered away as the rain and the waves hit it. This coal is a major part of the story of what's beneath our feet. We're gonna learn lots about this. Scribble has found the coal. Down here is pure coal. This stuff is what the miners would have taken out and burnt to heat their homes and to make electricity. As we go higher up, we get less carbon, we get more sediment until we're into the siltstone. We go higher up and the sediment becomes bigger and we get into the sandstone. You can't burn sandstone, you can't burn silt. It's coal that was needed to fire the industry of our early nation. That is a coral. A coral. Ancient coral fossil. A coral. Tropical seas. And yet it's here. Buffer is what we call really cautious went on a cliff face by the sea, as every good rock hound should be. The green stuff is really slippy. Always when we're down at the sea on one of these fossil hunting trips, you've really got to know where the dangers are. From the sea, from the tide coming in, from the slipperiness of the rocks, and from the cliffs above. Geology is a bit like reading a book. Although a lot of the pages are blank and you need to learn the language. Fossil leaves. 
This sandstone has the impression of a tree branch or trunk. Underneath my feet right now, there are the roots of an ancient tree. Come and have a look. You can just see these black dots running down through here, all the way down into the crevasse, down there, and it continues under this big boulder that we can't move. Wow, I really want to show you what I've just found here. This is amazing. This is the tree root from a species called Stigmaria. It actually comes right out of the siltstone like that. What we've got here is a 310 million year old jigsaw puzzle. You can see the root of the tree, then down here, these pieces, when we take them apart, you can even see the rootlets that went down into the soil when this was growing. How's about that? What a beauty. What a great day on the beach. Exploring nature, finding fossils, and practicing my science. Here we are back home and I get to check out the rocks that I found and start to understand the fossils that we've collected today. And here is the coral that we found down there on the beach. In another episode, I'm gonna show you what you can do once you've found a stone like this. For now, it goes on the sorting table. This is a beautiful little specimen right here. At the beach, there was one layer in the sedimentary strata in all of that beach that we walked along where I could find these. You'll see they're crushed orange shells. The shells are called bivalves, like a oyster or a mussel that you'll find today. The orange color tells me that they've been replaced by one of the iron minerals, possibly siderite. Every mineral has got its own name, just like there's different types of trees, different types of animals. You've got different minerals like calcite, quartzite, or this one. That's a piece of leverite. Because if you find it on the beach, you should leave it right there. It's not worth much. And you'll remember this. It's coal, of course. That helped us find our fossils. We'll come back to this in another episode. This has been a Rock Showman production for the Common Room. Check out the video description for links and to find out more.